Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you've been pouring out to me as well as other people and into yourselves. You know, just keep doing that positive thing you're doing, reaching your, your dreams, going for your gifts, and just doing a daggone thing in life. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings and love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. If you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. If you feel like the video has been, you know, very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes and say, ooh, I want to share with a loved one or a friend, go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites as well. And if also, thank you. Just thank you for you know, giving love and support to the channel, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video, y'all, it's been a crazy couple of days, I missed y'all, sorry, I had no videos out, I just made a little quick chat, you know, video for, you know, earlier, that I'm actually, you'll be seeing these videos for tomorrow, that, um, you know, I was just getting, you know, cooking, doing the Thanksgiving thing, hanging with my kids and my family and stuff like that, my granddaughter, which I truly love, and it, it was just a blessing. So um, today, my video I'm listening to is sleeping music, calm music for stress relief, relaxation, 30 minute sleep, uh, yin yang, 255-8 beat. So I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Ocas, there's beauty in every storm that we go through. It is. You know, because I, I got this post. As a matter of fact, I'll probably use it as a thumbnail. Because it was like, you know, lately I've been seeing all these posts. That were, you know, these little, you know, things that you get on social media. You know, just to send out posts and everything of positive vibes, affirmations and stuff. And it was really resonating with me. And I said, you know what? I can appreciate every storm. And I hope you feel the same way about your situation. Because sometimes we'll, we'll be stuck in something. And it'll feel like a nightmare. It'll be like, you know, went through hell back, hell back, or hell back. And we're just like hateful towards the universe, hateful towards God. Like, why does this have to happen? You know, where were you at when all these things happen and this and this and that? But you have to realize they've been there that whole time. Sometimes, you know, we have to go through things to get to them. And it's just like when I look at all the storms that I went through, they may have been hell on high water. And there's sometimes I was very uncomfortable. You have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. If you want change in your life, you have to remember that. Get comfortable getting uncomfortable, being uncomfortable. Because it's just like the universe pushes us out to be out of our comfort zone because we are so scared of change. You know, a lot of us are scared of change. It's like that that's different for us. If you know you have been in a certain set of mind for state of mind for so long and then you switch up and say basically your your mind and that light switch come up and say, Hey, hell no, enough is enough. We can't keep living like this. We can't. And that's the meaning for our spiritual awakenings, our ascensions, kundalini, uh, night of the dark soul. All these things is like an inevitable must that we have to go through. And it's just like when you can actually look at the journey and your situation in a positive light, not in a negative one, things will start flowing a lot more easier. Like right now, I'm just like, I know there was a shift. I don't know what happened, over, you know, over the holidays. It was just even though it was yesterday. But, um, well, be, when y'all see this video, it was two days ago. But there was a shift. And I don't know what happened. It's just like so many empaths I've been talking to, especially on live chat. And y'all, you know, if you can hit me up on live chat, I would love to discuss anything with y'all. You know, we have so much fun. I try to do at least two, um, two live chats a day. You know, last two days I really didn't do it, especially because, of, you know, the holidays. And, um, I, well, actually I did it the day before. So the holidays and stuff like that and just recuperating because I didn't make any videos. I, I thought I was going to have some videos up Friday morning, but y'all, I was tired. I said, after eating all that food, I was in a food coma. 
And I was like, there ain't no way I'm getting up right now. And I was already tired for, throughout the week because it's like I've been talking to so many empaths, shamans, heokas, healers, life workers, and stuff like that. And it was draining, but it was a positive drain. And all of us are pretty much going through the same thing. We don't went through hell and high water. But then when you can look at the situations that you're in and say, you know what, this is something I had to go through. Because when you can look at these things and say, this pain has got me stronger, this pain has brought me into things that I never thought I was capable of putting myself in in a positive space. Because sometimes we're in a messed up head headspace to where we feel doubtful, we feel stressed out, our faith is constantly being tested, to where we don't, sometimes we don't believe in ourselves or believe on our path. But it's just that pain we have to go through, that neglect, that abandonment, whatever we had to go through. When you can actually say, you know what, after all these battles and trials and wars I've been through, I'm the most strongest, comfortable, not comfortable, but uh, confident person I've ever been that I've realized. Because it's just like when I look at my life, and I tell y'all a lot, it's just like when we can down ourselves, because we can be our own worst enemy sometimes. And we're like, you know, I don't feel like I'm good enough, or I feel like I'm not confident enough. Look at your past. Look at your past because there is things that have been placed in your past that you thought you would never get over. You would probably cry many days and ask God to take that pain away or just take your life away because you didn't even want to feel it. Trust me, I've been there. But then when I can look at my life and say, you know what, this mess has really brought me hell. You know, it made me look at people different. The people I thought that was in my life that was going to be by my side had up and left me, you know, and I did everything on my own. When I reached out and begged people to listen to me and begged people to just pay attention to what I was saying, reaching out to family members and their family members ignore me. But I'm glad I went through this. Because nobody can say they handed me anything. Nobody can't say, oh, because I'm, I'm whose daughter, I got this, this, and this, and that. No, I worked my ass off to get everything I got. Anything that has came into my path, I worked my ass off for. And nobody can say they handed me anything. I had to do everything on my own. Even though I had the universe by my side and my dad by my side in a spiritual way for that support, that's all I needed. I didn't need... You know, all these other people, these naysayers, these toxic people, I wiped everybody out of my life. Because when you know you're on to something and you're excelling in your life, just be prepared to be separated from everything. And, you know, and a lot of people are like, Rosalind, you know, I've lost so many people out of my life. You know, best friends, husbands, wives, family members. And I mean, not as in death, but it's just separated. And it's like, we all have to go through that. This journey is not meant to have everybody in our lives that started in our lives and going to be there at the end. You might be, like I've said, you might be lucky if you got one or two friends left. But then when you start seeing true colors of things that's been in your life that has probably been blind to you and you just didn't want to see it, it can be an ugly feeling, but it's, you can thank God for allowing you to see things in his true face. That's why I always say, I don't, you know, I might be mad for that minute, but I say, you know what, I'm thankful. Because the fact is, I could have been still on that wrong road, having my blessings blocked because I'm having the wrong people in my, you know, in my circle. So when I'm just like, you know, I just a couple of friends, quantity and and quality is you know two separate things you don't need a whole bunch of people in your life because it's like so many people I know they can have a big circle and still feel alone and you can just have a handful of friends and they'll make you feel like a king or a queen because you value those relationships and it's reciprocated the same way so when you go through your situations knowing there is beauty in every storm that you go through knowing there's every blessing in everything you go through because when you start that situation i guarantee you are not going to end it the same way you started you're not going you might go through the fly, fire but when you come out they ain't even going to smell smoke on you promise you hallelujah thank you jesus and a benediction so i hope you are able to get something out of the content of my video and i hope you had a blessed safe holiday and i hope you have a blessed safe weekend and you know like i said before you know i'll be having these live chats i'm not let me not say i'm gonna have them daily because i said that before and there you know things come up when you you know god shows humor when you try to tell them your plan because they'll mess up every single time like i said before but i'm gonna try to have as many live feeds live chats you know for the support of the hail because i love doing my videos i love reaching out to people i'm just doing bigger and better things into my life because i know there's a lot of people that you know 
that need help as well as me. You know, I'm searching for things too. I know I'm going on a, you know, a journey, a spiritual journey where I'm excelling in life. So it's just like I'm trying to bring more things to the table that I can do, you know, as well as for myself and as well as for other, you know, empaths as well. So send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And, you know, Drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you. And give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media and favorites. And, you know, let me know that you hit the notification, you know, button so I can go ahead and give you a shout out. I'm speaking of notification. I want to give a uh, post notification out, uh, shout out out to SJ. Much love to you, sis. I hope you had a blessed, safe holiday. And many blessings are yet to come for you. And I will see you on my next video. I'm sending uplifting vibes. Uh, healing vibes and loving vibes your way if you especially truly need them and I will see you on my next video much love and I miss y'all and I hope y'all had a blessed safe holiday and peace and be wild